Hey Stampers, I'm Meg from Love and Stamps and when I first saw the new Painter's Palette stamp set that we're featuring for Stamps the Mail Club this month, this easel really jumped out at me. It's kind of the central image, but I really liked it for making some simple cards and of course to go with our set of simple cards we need a cute note card portfolio. So this portfolio is an idea that you are going to want to use over and over again. So let me show you the project. Here's the front cover which uses that um, easel and then inside we have our little notebook cards so our little notebook kind of set up to showcase our cards so this is the kind of treat that would be great to give to just you know a special friend or a hostess somebody go visit this summer uh, but let me give you some tips for making this um, sweet project as part of stamps in the mail club let's get stamping all right, so there are a lot of pieces for making this portfolio and just go ahead and slide them out and let's go ahead and start with the front of our portfolio. So this is actually just a half sheet of dapper denim cardstock and so it's five and a half by eight and a half and I pre-scored it for you with your Stamps and Mail Club cards at four and one eighth and four and three eighths. So basically that gives us our nice little dimension here for the front of our card, okay? Now in your kits are also this piece of designer series paper and the Whisper White. So I'm going to go ahead and take this um, and I'm going to stamp it before I stick it. I always try to stamp before I stick because you can always flip it over. But once you've, once you've stuck it, then you can't flip it. So I'm going to grab my blue swoosh and or my swoosh and go ahead and ink it in dapper denim. And I kind of like the idea that this is like the base of the... Um, where our easel is going to stand so and there is this half sheet of whisper white cardstock included with your um, kit you're actually going to need three of these frames so go ahead and ink it up and you might as well just stamp all three at the same time um, so that you make sure you get them all on there and then whatever cardstock you have left over you could use as extra embellishments but one we're going to cut these out so I'm not going to worry too much about the edges two and then three. All right, so two of these are going to go on our cards, and one of them is going to go on our um, front. So if you haven't done a lot of um, fussy cutting, I like to call it, um, let me give you just a quick tip. Keep your scissors in the same place. Um, first of all, use good scissors. Uh, the paper snips that Stampin' Up! carries are simply amazing. Um, keep your scissors in the same place and just turn your cardstock to um, guide the cutting line, okay? And go ahead and I like to leave a little bit of a white line around the edge. It helps to sort of give an extra um, matting kind of layer look to your stamped images. All right, and then for this front one on the cover, I'm gonna go ahead and use my little expression of love stamp. And then I like this little um, shaped swoosh and I'm going to go ahead and need my scratch paper so that I get sort of a, a little bit lighter and emerald envy. Go ahead and swoosh at the top and the bottom and then I'm going to give um, in dapper denim I'm going to add some little speckles. And again I'm going to go ahead and stamp off a couple times because I want that to be pretty light. I don't want it to interfere with my greeting. All right, and then this piece gets caught on the front with Stampin' Dimensionals. Now, there is a little bit of a trick. So this is where our ribbon is going to come in. So let me back up for a second. There are, um, there's ribbon cut here so that you have 18 inches of ribbon for your front piece. I'm going to cut that at 18. And then you have two pieces left over that are going to go, well, you have one piece two pieces uh, after you cut it in half that are going to go on your cards um, that go in your portfolio. So um, you can go ahead and let's go ahead and mount this on our front of our portfolio first so I can show you um, this ribbon trick. Uh, I don't want the ribbon to keep falling off my card portfolio. I want it to stay on, spot on, and um, remain part of the design so when somebody opens a portfolio they don't want to have to keep looking for the ribbon to tie it shut all the time so get your pieces layered go ahead and wrap this around bring your two ends to match so we have that there and at the same time that you're adding your front piece you're going to go ahead and trap your ribbon 
so that your ribbon is caught down and doesn't keep falling off um, from the front of your portfolio. So I just put some dimensionals overlapping the edge of my ribbon there, put some on the front of my little artist thing, and then I mount that. Okay, see how that works? So now the ribbon doesn't pop out all the time and we are ready to start on the inside. So I know you want to go ahead and put these envelopes in, but actually before we put the envelope in, we are going to work on our cards and I'll show you those very briefly because I think you'll be quick to um, work on those and maybe even design your own. So there are two envelopes. These are from the note cards and envelopes, which I absolutely adore. They are a great thing to use. They come with their own pre-cut and pre-scored cards. So this is that. And then I've added an extra layer um, that will go on the front here. And this one is four and a half by, I'm measuring it really fast, four and a half by three. And this is gonna layer across the front. So I designed this um, so that you could go ahead and take your selection from the um, included designer series paper. It's emerald and V to match everything else. Remember those two pieces of ribbon we cut. I'm going to put adhesive right on the back of this ruched ribbon. Um, and this stuff has been uber popular. Oh my goodness. I can't can't believe how popular it's been. So um, it's on back order right now, but it'll be back soon. And then there's this um, Emerald Envy Thick Baker's or Baker's Twine, Solid Baker's Twine. And I'm going to slide this just underneath. And you can tie this in a little knot. You can tie it in a little bow. Um, whatever makes you happy. It looks like it's going to be a knot for me right now. <laughs> okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some adhesive on the back to put that ribbon around okay then this piece is going to layer here on the front of your card and you can do that flat um, with adhesive or actually I kind of like to pop it up using Stampin dimensionals and this is a technique that I use pretty often um, to uh, layer color on color with dimensionals in between because it really helps to add that extra interest see how that looks really cute and then of course these little ends need trimmed so that they're, uh-oh, my knot's coming untied. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. And then I have our frame that we cut out earlier. And I'm going to, uh, we'll just give this a little, a little expression of love also. And maybe some um, emerald, oops, better stamp off. I'll just stamp off on the back. Some emerald speckles to go with it. And then this piece I'm going to layer on the front of our card with Stampin' Dimensionals. See, and nobody needs to know I stamped off on the back there. Oh, you know what? I want to add one more thing to this. Unfortunately, I didn't put my dimensional on that corner. I'm going to add this little push pin because I think he's so cute and put him right on the front. So there's our little expression of love. And here's our um, envelope to match. And I'll just go ahead and throw some speckles maybe up one side there. And then we have our card and our pieces to match. Now, this is where the um, envelope, the clear envelope comes in. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and put your envelope and your card together. And you want to make sure you make your card before you do this because you don't, you want to make sure it's as thick as it's going to be in real life. Um, this card is going to go in here and then you're going to seal this. So go ahead and peel the backing off of the clear envelopes. If you haven't seen these clear envelopes before, they're in the Stampin' Up! catalog and I adore them. I use them all the time. And I'm going to, you see where this, um, this is meant for a, a half sheet card. And so I'm going to go ahead and fold this down. I'm going to fold it all the way down so that that little extra quarter inch gets folded over. Okay. Not super tight, but tight enough that we're, see, we're right at the end there. Okay, slide your card to one side so it slid over, and that is going to leave you some extra space at the top. Use a pair of scissors or your Stampin' Trimmer and cut off, leaving about a little less than a quarter of an inch. Can you see how much bigger I left that? Maybe between an eighth and a quarter. And then this is going to be adhered inside your card portfolio. So this is where I would definitely use Fast Fuse um, or another great adhesive. And here's a trick for you. The Fast Fuse doesn't like to stick as well to the um, back of the plastic. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in my folder instead. 
and slide this right up to the bottom so that it sits right up there. Whoops, there we go. And lay this down. And now we have a pocket for a card and an envelope. See how that works? Super cute. And then you're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Um, here's another card idea. This one I stamped the background with speckles and used it um, vertically instead of horizontally. So this card um, pulls out this way. But you're going to have two pockets. Go ahead and tie your card portfolio closed on the front. And uh, you have a really great gift. You could use these yourself or give the gift um, to a friend or family. Thanks member. so much for watching. Thanks for stamping through my mail. If you haven't requested your June kit, um, it's not too late to do so. Go ahead and uh, check my website, livewithstamps.com, for those details. And when you request your kit, make sure you let me know if you need a copy of the um, new catalog, and I will include that new catalog for you um, for free with your Stamps and Mail Club kit. So, happy stamping, and I hope you love this card portfolio design and use it often. Thanks for watching.